through most of the crossing, they slept, huddled beneath blankets as if trying to shield themselves from the world they struggled to survive in. But by morning, there was a much brighter mood. Here was Europe, a new future. And whatever Europe is, it must surely be better than the Libya they've escaped. 233 mostly economic migrants from West Africa. Italy's ports are founded on mercantile trade, but this is the new cargo. Migrants, lots of them, and this will be a record year. But why do they come? 20-year-old Ansumana said the boat was the only escape from the horrors of Libya. I was in the prison for three months. Yeah. What yeah. were the conditions like? Very hard conditions. Yeah. You told Every, me earlier you were beaten. Yeah, we were beaten and we normally eat once in a day. He is lucky to be alive. We found them two days ago, drifting in this rubber boat off the coast of Libya. The people smugglers had packed them in and gave them just enough fuel to leave Libyan waters. An hour after this rescue, a storm blew in. And this is what happens when the waves get bigger. The boats fold and they sink. Well, look at the smiles. This is the moment they dreamt of, the moment that many of them had risked it all for, their first steps onto European soil. But how many more are going to come? 233 here, 801 in Messina, over a 1,000 migrants just today. I'm very happy, I'm very, very happy standing in Europe right now. Yeah. Among those also leaving the Aquarius today were 51 young men under the age of 17, travelling alone. Here's one from Guinea-Bissau, 14. It's a lonely world for a boy so young. One proposed solution is to send Europe's navies into Libya's waters, but to do that you need a government and a partner in Tripoli. The inescapable truth is so long as there's money to be made from this dirty business of people trafficking, they will come. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Crotone.